My name is Sersha Collins, and today I'd like to consider the question of who brought death into the world according to the Bible. We read in Genesis 2, 16 through chapter 3, that Yahweh, who had created the earth and put a man and woman on it, made a tree. It was a tree of knowledge of good and evil, and if it was eaten, it brought death. Now, put it in the midst of the garden, and of course, he told them not to eat it. However, he put it there and it enticed them, of course, because they were curious and they were ignorant. They had no idea of what death was, or really, they didn't even know for sure that Yahweh was their creator. He told them he was, but how could they know that? Well, then Yahweh sent the smartest person, the smartest being in the world that he had created. And that being the serpent convinced Adam and Eve to eat of the fruit that would kill them. And he did not lie. The Bible says he lied, but he did not. He said, he said, God knows if you eat this, you will not die, but you will become wise like the gods. And that was true because Yahweh admitted it later. He said they'd become, uh, they'd become like us to know good from evil. So he had to put them out of the garden. Well, so who's responsible? Adam and Eve, who were like children. The serpent, who Yahweh allowed into the garden. Or was it Yahweh who made the tree in the first place and made it so that it could kill them? In uh, Exodus 20, um, 21, verses 28 and 29, the Bible says, if you have an ox and it's want to push with its horn, it's, it's, it's been known to go out and run into people and harm people, and you know this and you do nothing about it, then if it hurts somebody, you have to, if it kills somebody, you have, to, you have to die for that. That's on you. So Yahweh knew that the serpent was wont to push with his horn. Then, in Deuteronomy 22, 8, we read that if you build a house and you don't support the roof and somebody falls, his blood is on your hands. Now, Yahweh built this garden. He built this home. And he didn't support the roof. So now the blood is on his hands for what Adam and Eve did. Then we read in Exodus 21, verses 33 through 34, that if you dig a pit and you don't cover it and an animal falls into it and the animal dies, you have to, you have to redeem that animal. You have to buy back that animal. So basically, Yahweh has done all these things. He's the one who created the... the house with no good roof, he's the one who dug the pit, he's the one who had the ox that was wont to push with its horns. So if death was brought into the world because of this, who's responsible then to redeem mankind, to shed his blood, to fix this horrible thing that he's done? It's Yahweh's responsibility. It's not yours, it's not mine. Well, he didn't do anything, we had nothing to do with this. It's not on us. So we can relax and let Yahweh do his thing. If he's got a problem with us, that problem came from his actions. We are not responsible. And that, of course, is if you believe this story to begin with. I'm just trying to uh, talk about that, how the story plays out in the Bible. Thanks for listening. Bye.